Hello everyone. So today we're going to do our brand new project and just a heads up, this project is a little longer than the last project, but I think it's really fun. So we're going to be looking at this artist named Frank Stella and he was born in 1936, so kind of a long time ago. Um, he was, he actually is from Massachusetts and I have a map here and I'll show you where Massachusetts is. So Massachusetts is right here. We are all the way over here in Illinois. So he lived in Massachusetts with his family, and then he grew up and he actually moved to New York where he actually still paints and lives. So he's living in New York, and it's pretty cool that he's still painting. So he really enjoyed painting, which, you know, we know that you do with paints and brushes, and hopefully some of you guys have some paints at home so you guys are able to maybe try that out. And he also liked printmaking. I know we haven't done this yet, but printmaking is pretty much like a stamp. So he, you create a stamp, like this guy has right here, a little crab, and then you press the paper on it. I'm sure you guys know what stamps are. So he really enjoyed those two things, painting and printmaking. But he really enjoyed painting shapes. Do you guys remember these shapes? Do you know what they're called? Think about it. If you said geometric, you're correct. These are the geometric shapes that we've been studying. And there's another type of shape. Does anyone remember the other type of shape that we studied? If you said organic, you're correct. But today we're going to focus on these guys, the geometric shapes. Now remember, these are the shapes that were found in math, right? So we have the circles, triangles, diamonds, all those other things. All right, so these are definitely super important in art, and he uses all these shapes in different ways. So let's take a look at his work. What are some things that you see here? What colors do you see? Do you see a particular shape? I'm sure you see one particular shape. It's pretty bright. So I see a triangle, and it's nice and bright orange. That was the first thing that I saw. I'm sure you also see the color blue, and you also see this color, which is called beige. So again, he really enjoyed uh, overlapping those shapes. Now, I know I can't see you right now, but I'm sure you remember that movement of overlap, right? Putting our hands one on top of the other. So remember what overlap is. So he really enjoys overlapping those shapes. Let's keep looking at his work. Whoa, this one has a lot of colors. Can you find where all the yellows are? I'll give you 10 seconds. How about all the greens? I'll give you another 10 seconds to find them. Good job. Now, what's your favorite color on here? Why don't you pick your favorite color? You can say it out loud. Nice. So, if you can see here, these, the, all these colors kind of form a triangle. And let me outline it with my mouse right here. So we go down, all the way to the center. And then we come back this way. And we come back up. And that's one triangle. And I'm sure you see another triangle over here. One side, second side, and the third side. But if you look in the middle, they don't line up, do they? One's kind of next to the other, next to the other, next to the other. This is called an optical illusion in art. Kind of tricks your brain, but pretty cool. Now, this is kind of a tricky question, so I'll give you a little bit more time. But what shape do you think this was before he cut it up? If you said it was a circle, you're correct. It was a circle, and then he cut it up. Now this piece is really, really big. How big? Let's see this picture. Whoa, that's pretty big. So we see this lady on the side. In comparison, this piece is huge. Can you imagine you sit standing next to it? So he took the shape of a circle, 
as we can kind of see right here in the middle. And he drew it several times, as you can see. And then he colored it a lot of different colors. And then he went ahead and cut it up, which is a really interesting approach to it. Keep this in mind because we're going to be doing something like this, but I'll help you get to the project. Here's another piece from him. As you can tell, it's also really big. What shape do you see here? If you saw a circle cut up, then you're correct. He's also using circles, so I think he really enjoyed drawing circles, but he also enjoyed drawing them over and over again and then adding different colors. What are three colors you see here? Go ahead and name them. Good job. So I see red, I see gray, I see purple, some black, yellow, orange, green. I see a lot of different colors and different shades of, of those colors too. So this is kind of the same concept as the other one. Now let's look back. Remember we said that the middle didn't line up here? Let's look at that other one one more time. Does the middle line up? You said yes, you're correct. Now the only thing different from here is that we have stripes going one way and then stripes going the other way. So this also is an optical illusion. Kind of tricks your brain into finding where all the stripes are. So sometimes you're, if we look at them really closely, your brain only sees these two at a time or these two at a time, which is kind of neat. So the longer you look at it, the more you'll see it. And our last piece. He also, if you guys noticed, he also is, what is, what is it when we put a dark line around our shapes? Does anyone remember? If you said outline, you're correct. Remember we used to outline our stuff with markers in kindergarten and then pens in first grade. So he also liked to outline his work, as you can see here. Now, this is a little trickier, but I do see parts of circles here. And then I kind of see a square. But this shape is really, really different, isn't it? What are some colors you see here? Nice job. All right, so let's look at his work one more time. Lots of colors, lots of lines, and I know you guys all know how to make different lines using different shapes, and we've studied shapes a lot in art. And remember, they're very important. So how big his work is. And we saw how he kind of tricked our brain. So, for our next project, I want you guys to follow along with me on the next video. Um, I'm going to show you how to step-by-step -step draw our project, okay? And remember, this is kind of a longer project, so you have to watch the videos. So when you're watching the videos, you got to be ready to draw and um, color, okay? All right, see you later.